Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Come on, for y'all. I'm niggas ghetto for real. Hell yeah, we ghetto. <laughs> All right. Hey, we. All right. Hey, y'all, what's good? What's the word, man? Hey, I know the founder of one of the members of the ghetto creators, and this is Talk TV. Season one, episode three, and we have Misia Didi along with her best friend let's Tiny see, Faith. You already know what the word is, but you know we here for Didi. What's going on, what's man? No, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get straight way. to it. We ain't for the play. What's we gonna get straight to it. Man, look, no. first off, tell her tell tell them about yourself. Let them know, tell them the name and where you from. Okay, I'm Nisia Didi. Um from Jackson, Mississippi. Um, Shout out to Jax. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this question: Like, what made you want to become a part of the uh, the metaverse community? What what want you to get the headset? Well, hey, this um when I first got on this um Horizon stuff, I when I first got the Oculus. This one in my eye, this my Brussels. And when they first told me Horizon, I said, Horizon? What is it? What is that? What is Horizon? They showed me around. I think my first place mm -hmm. I ever went to was the Soapstone. And I went and mm -hmm. I said, dang, this is talking to people and everything. So then I got deep. I started getting on there more. And then I got deep to start meeting new people. And I was like, damn, this shit dope. So yeah, this how I got on deep. Is it, do you look at this more interesting than how it is in real life? Like I mean, it's um. I feel like for me, it helped me with more, more, more in real life than you know anything else. Right. Cause yeah, I don't talk to people in real life. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, that's that's respect. Like for a lot of people, really don't don't like to be bothered yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? In the metaverse, it's different because we can see them, but we can't feel them. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. All right, so. Explain your experience in here, though. Let, let me know some. How's your experience in the metaverse? Has it been good? Has it been bad? Has it been neutral? Did you gain something? Did you lose something? Experience. Mm, I think the most important part is I gained genuine friends. Um, my experience is neutral. I had my bad mm -hmm. and I had the good. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I say it's neutral, but I, I definitely appreciate the genuine friends that I real genuine. I never felt like they more genuine than the people I I have in my real life. You get what I'm saying? So, Man. so yeah, that's really so yeah. I say it's neutral, and I just it's a blessing to find genuine. Okay, okay, look at man. Hey, give it up for you know the little sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? Little, 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 yeah, sorry, I turned that shit off. The confetti ain't on. That shit over with. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I but, was um, say. yeah, yeah I'm, <laughs> the world ain't broken. No, no, no. We got it like that. You feel me? Now, um, this is another question. Okay, it's a question from I guess from one of your supporters. They want me to ask you this. So, what was your intention on being a Becoming a a metaverse player. <laughs> I'm so that serious. I'm looking say, at my phone. That's what they say I'm a player. A. Hey. No, nah, I'm, I'm saying like, no, nah, I ain't talking about players and playing people. Like, I don't oh, know where okay. you getting this from. <laughs> oh, like, okay. You snitching on yourself, <laughs> man. <laughs> you snitching on yourself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> metaverse <laughs> person. Okay, I got you. What you're saying? I get what you're saying. <laughs> what was your intent? What's your intention on being <laughs> metaverse? Like, what did you want to do in the metaverse? Like, what was on first mindset? Um, my first mindset is to make, you know, my first mindset was just make friends, you know, just to be, just to be a part of the community, period. Just to be, just be here, just be myself, period. Just be here, just to show people who I am. Period, and that's all I could do, you know. And then it came mm -hmm. to some people when I met the underboss. He came through when we first met. He was on Man, my side. Underboss, like, was stuck like you was on the roll, baby. Shout out to underboss. We was 
we were stuck like glue when I first met Boss. We were stuck like glue. I think my first nah, my first person I met was Shadow Clan. She in here. That's my girl. But the one who made me really want to build is Let the up, underboss. Like he really, we were stuck like glue. Like, like hey, you want to do your world? We gonna do your world first. I was like, my world first. Why not your word? No, I want to get your word pop. And I was just like, dang, for him to be like, okay, to help me with something, the underboss is the most sweetest dude ever. He is such a sweetheart. Period. There are another the episode underboss. with underboss. Shout out to the underboss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to underboss, man. Like I said, okay. Now I see you with your, your home girl, Tiny Faith. You know what I'm saying? Tiny, do you want to, you know, introduce yourself? You know what I'm saying? I know. I like a team now. So what's, what's, what's the word? How, how you feel? Everything I'm Tiny smooth? Faith. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Tiny Faith. I'm from Houston, Texas. Seven one three. Uh huh. Yeehaw. Yeah. Yeehaw. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know but now nah, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Uh, okay. So why you choose this name? Like, what made you want to use this name? Because everybody' name represents them in some type of way. It has a symbolism or something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for music, like like Riders Pen, shout out to him. And then you got uh yeah, mine's got a meaning. What about yours? Like what, what, what's your name? My name is for? actually my name. <laughs> oh, um, but except, it's not God my damn. whole it's not my whole name. It's Nisia. I okay. ain't put my whole name out there. And I put DD. That's my neat name. That's what everybody called me. Like yeah. For sure. So you can't pronounce Nisia, just call me Dee Dee. But I hate when motherfuckers say, okay, so your name double D, that means you got double D's. I be getting mad because I'm like, nah, it's Dee Dee. It's, it's literally say Dee Dee at the end. At least they don't mispronounce so, yeah. your name. Shit. They call me Sherlock. They do miss you know what I'm saying? They, Picasso, they do all that, that weird ass shit, You know what these right? motherfuckers say? They say Nacia, Nacia. I'm like, what the hell? But yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so in your journey being in the metaverse did you have any type of accomplishments during the travel or during the way of you building your name if so what was your first or what was your favorite i, I can't say my um first accomplishment was opening down south period um that was my okay. favorite that's my baby um and just having a so that was your first world right Yes, down south is my first word. That's my baby. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> check, check out down south. Check out down south. Okay, come on. Um, what, what else going on? And just I this 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 my accomplishment that I could think of so far. Like this the biggest accomplishment and just having a team. This is genuine team. This is who's a part of the team. Let it, let us everybody know who's a part of the team if you don't mind. My main crew, you gotta know if you don't see us, we still a crew. We not it's you know life be life, but we still a crew. You got Tiny, you got the underboss, got Cutie, Tay Pluto, you got Maja, Shadow Clean, everybody else. You got I got I'm part of another team, but yeah, that's my main crew. <laughs> that's my main crew. Okay. That's who I started out with. <laughs> Hey, so from the bottom, <laughs> now we motherfucking here. Now spe speaking of worlds. Have um one of your worlds down, you know what I'm saying? Like we do on any other episodes of support, hey. we have your, your world in the gate. I understand that this is your newest one, right? This is your newest for one. For sure, for sure. All yeah. right, tell tell us about the new world. Tell about the journey and what gave it the name. Like, tell us about it. Okay, so I always wanted a chill world, and I. Was Chill world. So one day I, I always support funds. Wait, I always support my dog. I came into one here where I, he fun, always right? know I come. He always know I come into his words. Yeah, shout out to him. But he came up to me. He was like, Nisa needs. He called me Nisa needs. He was like, Nisa needs. We need to. Uh, he said, collaborate. Cause I want to collaborate with you. Period. And I was like, You want to collaborate with me? Look on me. And he was like, for sure, for sure. Like, you dope, and I want to collaborate with you. I'm like, okay, for sure. And he my dog, so I said, for sure, I'm down with it. And he was just like, well, just tell me what you, what your vision is. I told him a little bit of my vision. I said, I want a futuristic type of world, and I want you to do a city that's futuristic. Just a city, just do a build a city that's futuristic. I want an outer space world that's futuristic, like, type shit. And he said, I got you. 
he we went on that shit. We went in there. Mm -hmm. He started on the I started on the first thing on my bedroom. He started on the stage part and he did that city part in less than an hour. And when I say that she turned out like this, I was just like, damn. So yeah, shout out to Fuzz Way. He's a dope creator. I don't think he get the flowers that he deserves because he's very dope. Oh, he's gonna be so you hear that shout out you to be on the show too. Way. He's very dope and he's a very sweetheart. He's he's very helpful, just like the other boss. And yo, he yeah, grind. I, I know that for a fact. He grind his ass off. He got mad at somebody that stopped his money. I never heard somebody speak yo. Spanish cursing and come back English like Diego. I ain't gonna hold you, <laughs> but for we ain't sure. gonna do all that. We ain't gonna do all that though. But um, okay, okay. So during your journey, was there any type of frustration that you ever had? Like, and how did you overcome them? Because we might have somebody that might be in your shoes, but they might not have it, but you do. Okay, frustration and coming in building or just in metaverse, period. Just any any of it. It could be people, it could be building, whatever. Something that you feel like, I man, mean, that, that you feel like you had to overcome. Mm. Frustration gonna come. I think like when I, I do get frustrated sometimes, and I do like get in my moves or whatever. But I don't know. I just, I just, I'm a forgiving person. I just be like, it is what it is. Forget about it. You know, move on. Right. But it's other people I just don't really. If they frustrate me to the point where I just don't like you, I'm let you know, mm. and I'm not gonna <laughs> fuck with you. And this is point blank period. I'm not finna fuck right. with you. And you gonna know for sure that I don't fuck with you. Cause if you if I see you and I don't speak, then me I don't fuck with you. It is a point for you. So yeah. And people be hey, speak that shit. I know everybody in here like, damn, I wish you confetti. I'm sorry. We're gonna give the confetti's next episode, I promise. But man, I totally agree with that for sure, for sure. So now let's give it a, a little break. Does anybody wants to come in, give this give this young lady a question or give her, her flowers of anything? We're gonna accept three or five people right now. Does anybody want to say something to Dee Dee? Hello, hello, hey y'all. So what hey. I, I want to say, I am so proud of you, Swin. Ever since I met you, you've been so freaking real. You know I love you. Even though, you know, it ain't just because you got my face. <laughs> but you are really, like, you are really, like, blossoming as a person, as a creator. I like how you branched off on your own and decided to teach yourself how to do the things and building that you, you know, feel like you was unsure of. And so I just want to let you know I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future, Swin. Love you. Thank you, Twee. I love you too. Oh. I, so I definitely want to say I'm definitely proud of you because I know you know you know we started from the beginning and seeing you your progress as you know over the year me over the with, throughout the you know almost a year now. So seeing your progress and seeing where you came from and seeing where you at now, I, I just I just wish you know. All the best, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, period, period, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Feel you. You about to cry. All right, I'm gonna get up here and say a little something because I'm a little social anxiety. But uh <laughs> ever since I met you, Diddy, you've been nice, you've been sweet, you always been nice motherfuckers that came to your club, always showed other motherfuckers love, always gave other motherfuckers their flowers and like it's it's just always been love from you. So I really fuck with you because of that. Like you funny, you you my bitch, like you real. No fake shit ever came from Didi, so yeah. My fault, my fault, my fault. You know what I'm saying? Technical difficulties. You know what I'm saying? Technical difficulties. They didn't want me Thank to be you. great, so I got greater. Fuck you, Tom. About hey, how y'all doing? We back. Anyway, um, <laughs> does anybody you you got all your kudos? Because I know I ain't gotta hold your hand and make sure you you, you appreciate it. So. Everybody yeah, everybody got their kudos. You know what I'm saying? Come on in. Um, you're muted. You're muted. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, but go ahead and say, talk your shit. Didi, What's baby, good, Didi, Ferrari? I always been cool. Hey, <laughs> but from day one, you always been cool. So, oh, wait, voices don't, okay. 
But you always been cool since day one. You ain't never changed. You ain't never been somebody else. It's been Amen. You. And I appreciate Thank you for that. You know what I mean? You, I'm so proud of you and everything that you've been doing. And you already know I'm there to support anything you do. Thank you for right. Hey, oh. that's love. Anybody else? Was that your second one or that was your first one? That was her third or fourth. That was fourth, 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 fourth or fifth. Fourth oh, fourth. shit. Okay, I got to look back. Okay. Give a shout out. Uh, Memphis. You know, uh, I met you doing uh, Infinite uh, a Rocket Podcast. And I'm like, just shout out. Like, like you're doing your thing. Like, you've been doing your thing. And I appreciate now, you for being cool. I don't rep cool. Memphis now, so, but I'm, I'm going to stop you right Memphis there. Not, I don't rep Memphis. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Mr. Jackson. Tiffany. Yeah, Jackson. I know Jackson. Okay. Big <laughs> <Mississippi. laughs> she put the miss yeah, in Mississippi. Fuck, yeah, man. I fuck with Memphis. Though. Though. Y'all right you know, down Memphis the street. Is, Y'all right down the street. Memphis is tough with Jackson. Like I know a lot. And like it's like we like yeah. brothers and sisters for real. You know I fuck so with nine no. on one. Period. Thank you, to sure. Ray. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all I love right. you, Didi. I got all the extra, but I love you, Didi. I love you too, <laughs> That's the end of my favorite one. <laughs> Cause you fuck. Miss W, what's going you know, on? Know, you know, you know, man, something to my girl, you know, Nisia. I've been rocking with you since the first day we met, and everything. Like last year, it's been over a year now since I've known you, mm-hmm. and. I done seen you grow from up there, just a world hopper to now you're up there, a world creator. You have done a lot. You have never changed. That's one thing that I love about you. Yeah. Like, no matter what it is, you can always stick by your morals, stick by your standards. And I love that, especially in us <laughs> sisters, that we have to keep that yeah. going, that we have to be real. Because on here, there's too again. many fakes running around here. There's too many fakes yeah. running around here and portraying to be something that they not. And I love that you never change. Like a lot of y'all that I have met, y'all have never changed from the day that I met y'all. And I love that. And I want you to keep it up and everything because you're going to be something. You're going to be something big around here. And I feel She like already it. is. That's why she here. <laughs> on four now. I just got to catch Thank before them, 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 them. <laughs> Them famous motherfuckers cat. You feel me? Yeah, I'll make a girl cry. Hello. I'll be quick. Um, I hate that some people left, but I'm glad they did because it was hard to get in to see you because it was hard to get in the server for a minute. <laughs> I, hey, I two servers. I, I, I smell two love. servers. Love. Love. I knew you just from around and I appreciated your bills and clothes, but it wasn't until. Mm-hmm. Cutie, until I became besties with Cutie, and I got to hang around you and actually be around you. And girl, I love your personality. You are so authentic, and keep that. Whether it's good or bad, you being your authentic self has drawn so much love to you, so much love around you. And I appreciate your authenticity, and I appreciate your realness. Got, like you can take accountability for yourself, and you can. Yeah. Make someone else take accountability for themselves. I love that you hard and you soft, and you got you got dope vibes. I know it's, it's a certain type of vibe you got to be around to help you really grow. And you got some dope people that support you because you support them. So always keep that up. She, she got her best friend by her side. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is but it my I, turn? Um, yeah, what's it's your name? Turn. Oh, turn. Turn. Hold on, it's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let her, we gotta. We, you know what I'm saying? We got questions and then we can get back to the kudos. But I need everybody to know who is Dee Dee really is. You feel me? That's why she's in here. You feel what I'm saying? So back to the questions. What was are there any future collaboration you got going on besides the team, besides Fonsway AK against the Blackwater? It was there are there any other type of collabs that you're that's reaching out to you or you hoping to get? Envy want to collaborate with y'all, get a creators. Oh, for <laughs> easy. Built, you on time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a couple of people I want to uh, collaborate with, but I just don't come up to people and just be like, you know, let me you know, oh, we got I some coming up to... anyway. <laughs> Family on phone. Okay. But, um, All right. I would, okay. I would love to collaborate with anybody that wants to collaborate with me. I know Mina, Mina, um. Are getting to get a, a Mississippi collaboration mm. deal that's coming up in the for 
Mississippi. It's for a lot of Mississippi creators in here. We mm-hmm. doing something Mississippi period, so we getting it together. So and any of the bills, I don't know. Whoever want to I ain't gonna let so hey. Except for the one I know I'm not from the down south, but you know, I still say I'm from the south side of my city. Fuck you talking about. So the work that the Mississippi is getting down. Y'all think y'all gonna talk Memphis? Hey, y'all think y'all get up there with Memphis? Hey, hey, I don't uh-huh. know. Hey, I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying, cause I, hey, hey I don't Memphis know. putting it down, representing it. Y'all gonna I, represent I, I, right? I see. I don't know though. We just gonna have to see, like, we just gonna have to Committed. Okay. These Mississippi creators we, are. Ain't no competition, got, Big Memphis. I don't want no problems. I'm got, just saying. You feel me? Because <laughs> we got Amina, we got uh Jacoy Hollywood, we got um Big Started Building, we got Bone, we got other people. So uh CCC Silk, we just trying to get everybody from Mississippi. So hey, if you just watching this and you from Mississippi, not don't holler at me. Nisia underscore DDVR. Come holler at me. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Okay. Was there any uh, collaborations you denied on, though? Like, a whole bunch. This one, it got iffy to the point where I'm like, fuck, I look like working with you. You know what I'm saying? On that type of timing. Like, have you ever denied on a, on a collaboration? A whole bunch. What was the reason? Was it because of their name? They had a bad name, the collaboration or cooperation they have, time. I don't trust a lot of people. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta mm. trust you in order to want to be with you. You get what I'm mm. saying? So if I don't trust you, it's like eh, I'm kinda like, eh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Nah. It's just me. Uh-huh. Um, that's that's understandable. If, if everybody just now coming to the world, please like and shit, um, like and say, not YouTube, but um, like and say the world. You know what I'm saying? Please and thank you because we will come to your world and give you the same love. And you never know, we might want you on the hot seat because we we still see talent. We just can't get everybody at once. You feel me? Um. Oh, and also, you're gonna see more things coming up. If not, you will see off the members of the Ghetto Creators. But let's get back to the um. Uh, to the interview next question i got with you is do you have a signature look do you have a signature type of style that that represents you mm, i change my looks i'll say it so i don't know no i don't think so mm-hmm. so speaking of looks and styles do you have any worlds that's coming up soon that you know that represents you or you're just doing it for fun or what's what's going on I've tried to do originality. I try to get into my own era, not to bite off nobody else's world. It's more the mm. one thing I can say me and boss do, like I could talk to boss like, is I'm biting off somebody's world because I want my own shit. I don't want nobody to say I'm biting off nobody's shit. I want my own originality, my own world. So how Something do you how that me. goes though? How that it's goes though? Some, because some people would look at it like this is just, you know, fun fact to those that don't understand mm-hmm. real creativity. But some people will see someone that make a world and feel like they can top that and try to make it a competition. Period. And that Same. think, that, that do they research and be like, no one tried this. Let me try this first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's the lane that you've been going through. Like, let me search up and see someone try it. And then I'm going to try it if no one. Because when I did down cell bar grill. I mm-hmm. I didn't want a lounge. <laughs> I said I want a bar and grill. I was the first, and I said that's what I want. Down south, bar and grill. Not no lounge, not no chill bar, no nothing. It's bar and grill, and that's what I wanted. Right. And I wanted it to look like me. Down south to represent the south. I'm from Mississippi, so I want something to represent south. Cause I was when we first got on here. We went to all these clubs that was just playing up north music. I like the music, don't get me wrong, but I need some down south. <laughs> I need some boosty, big boosty, all this shit. So that's why I did that. Some big dude, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been hearing yeah, it. Yo, yeah, yeah, I yo. already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm already look. I'm already knowing. So let me ask you this question because I I feel like I should ask everybody this. 
all space is coming to the end is the, the last day is on the 10th, which is my mother's birthday. And also the last breath of my brother. Shout out. Love you, Lotto. You know what I'm saying? So what would you do if Horizon would have wiped out? You know what I'm saying? Because that got me thinking with all these creators, all these beautiful mindsets, creativity, characters that have been brought to life, you know, whether it's personified or not. What would you do if and would you go to another world that uh and figure out their way of creativity or what? Oh wait, did she just did she go through what I go through? There we go, baby. Oh <laughs> you know, without <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the we gonna fuck? edit that out. We gonna edit that Get out. And we back, man. We Come back. Seemly. Seemly. Please hey, edit your, that shit out. Your head said better than mine. Mine said, let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> your head said better than mine. You know what I'm saying? But. But what's the name? Okay. I was scared. But the question I asked you was, what would you do if this was to end? Uh, like, all space. Where would you go and what would you do? You know what I'm saying? Would you still try to show your creativity, even by the ways that they done it? Like, for example, VR chat, it, they do Unity and they use all this other programs to show off. Would you go into that and just do your little art and leave? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you don't want to be around kids all the fucking time. But they still make money, too, like this spot. This spot. But their currency is a little bit different. We get it straight up. But they get it, you know what I'm saying, off the currency from the game, unless they do... You know, the second hand like we do is just right. put their little cash app and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what would you do if this were to end? Would you get off or would you go to another version of the metaverse? I mean, if Horizon were to end, it's going to be a yeah, you know, <laughs> they'll stay moment right there because it's addictive. But I'll say like, I'll probably like give me a, a gaming computer and just try it out. VR chat to be on VR chat, you know, to, to create on VR chat. I don't know right. much about Rec Room because I've never been on Rec Room, but I've been on VR chat. And I, mm -hmm. and I still think about getting me a game computer and do something on um, VR chat anyway. So, yeah. Okay. I say. <laughs> okay. Now, we done being professional with it now. now I got quite a few words, you know. Tiny, if you want to talk, going on here we we almost there almost about to wrap it up and then if anybody else got some kudos or got any you know what I'm saying questions for her we can do that now i got one question for it for you Didi, before i let everybody else talk they shit um so family we all family so i'm i'm i can talk to you you feel me with all love and everything now what was now i got a question so one day a dude came in and tried you you know what i'm saying talk they way and doing all this and all that and then later after mention that he in the relationship now how was like what was your what what's your what was your mind on the fact that these that some people are okay on dishonoring their partner on the video game or in the oculus or should i say because some people don't take it as a game some some people take it as a a lifestyle or should i say oh, how how yeah, do you feel about sure. these um, disloyal partners um, like I said, like I told him on that see my kid's name, but um, he came up to me and he was like, "I want you," and but I have a fiance. One thing I don't do is I don't talk to men that's married, and I don't talk to men that's engaged because us females, even though this is a game to you, it might be a role playing and what. They stay, they stay busy. But me personally, I don't do that because as female, most females they take into consideration of their feelings. Like they really be in their feelings, and they'll really find you. They'll really find you. Like they'll your name not on here. They'll still go to your Facebook because your Facebook is still connected to your account, <laughs> and they'll still go to your Instagram and find out everything they know about you. And they'll find out where you stay, your wife feel who your fiance is, and they'll try to uh, break up your relationship just because you think it's a game. And y'all think they just don't care. They care. Female feel, feelings is real. So that's why I don't play with this shit. Are you married or you, in, or you engaged? Mm -mm, that's a no-go for me. 
No. Did this just go for both sides or is it just males? This both sides. Females and me. Like, you... Right. Females should do that shit, you know? But I feel like females is much worse than me. It's just, just like... But other than that, they ain't gonna talk old boy and say, hey, hey, um... I'm finna go call this nigga and I'm gonna do that. Idea. Dog, they probably just gonna kill your ass. They probably gonna kill you. But they ain't gonna go to the nigga. The female gonna go to whoever. I want your man. They go open it. So, both ways, mm. you shouldn't do this shit because, you know, it's still feelings on here. We still have real people behind these goddamn uglies. Period. So, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't believe in this shit. <laughs> My can I? I want to ask something with you. Do you um? You don't mind me putting putting my my two cents in? I feel like those that say that I believe they are like false statement with that. I believe they lying just so that it can be more comfortable who they flirting with. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, no, nah, because what if this that, and third and they have a bad conscience? I think they just do that just to stop them from having thoughts or anything like trying to manipulate you know what i'm saying i, I just feel like that that's just me though that's just me uh does anybody want to give her her flower uh, questions we're gonna take three and then we should be done deasy i want to say man niecy you know what i'm saying cuz oh thank you for being here uh, you too tiny man been a minute you know what i'm saying can't wait to see y'all the you know the barbecue you know what i mean does anybody <laughs> want to give her a flower king pen hey shout out to king pen ferrari cameo be the Come on in, man. What's going on? All right, my Wi-Fi messed up. I'm gonna try to get this out before it starts mm -hmm. to me again. But um, go ahead, King. This year, you probably one of the first people that I met when I came to Horizon. You know what I'm saying? And to see a lot of people in dysfunctional friendships and in dysfunctional relationships, I'm just here to say I'm glad that man, you still got the friendship that we got. Same way you is with me, same way you is with everybody else, and you haven't stuck. Even if we got into a disagreement or argument, man, we were still able to patch things up and still be able to keep trucking. You know what I'm saying? And you don't find a lot of real people like that. So you already know you one of my A1, day ones, you know what I'm saying? So A1 like steak know, sauce. We're gonna, we gonna definitely we gonna definitely have to do a project together, you know what I'm saying? So you you from here, yeah, all right. That's number one. Who's number two? We got two more, two more to the dough, two more to the dough. Hold on, hold on. Star TT star, go ahead. Oh, wait, damn, God pulling your ass back. God damn, I got oh, yeah. The universe got a fat ass, fat ass fan towards you. I got the drift shit. Love you, girl. I always love you from Thank day you. one. Oh, hey, I hang around. I'm not Come a builder. I can't hear you. I can't hear her. I can't hear her. Come look, on. look, 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 look. In my window. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Idea. There you go. You good. Oh. You good. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm I'm not yeah, a don't builder. Don't touch shit. Okay. I'm not a builder. I'm not a builder, but I love hanging around you because hanging around you keeps me nice and young, girl. And, and I love being in your presence because you turn up the way I turn up and I'm old as fuck, but I love your your turn up. Hey, so I turn up period. with you when I come up on here in the morning. I love you, girl. Keep on doing your thing because you have definitely grown. That new world that you got, that shit straight up Jetsons. Love you. Hey, yeah. thank you. All right, who is number three? The final, the final one to give out their flowers besides Tiny, because I know Tiny haven't said nothing yet. Come on, who, who, who last? Who last? Come on, because we, we we about to wrap it up. We about to wrap it up. What All right. <laughs> I almost want to shoot his head. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. <laughs> so, 
Um, I, mean, I ain't even gonna comment on that, but I'm saying it's my first time here. Yeah, say something. Man. You don't know. Fun Damn, Zane, you. What's up? This is a talk. Uh, you're a creator, correct? Like a, a world builder. Do you have any advice that you can give out to to people mm. who are trying to, I don't know, build something worthwhile? That's a good question. Like, all spaces like was a good filled question. with karaoke clubs, and I'm like, and you got to go to another one. You know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, but, I just uh, say uh, it don't. I just say it's a builder. It don't matter what you put out there. Like, just do what make you happy. Period. Just do create what make you happy. Don't matter what other people created. Do what what you want to do. Period. Can't nobody take what's was you put you put yourself in your world like make people know who you are in your world it don't matter if you got um, other people got so many <clears throat> bars and grills so many clubs but they if you if you show you you get what i'm saying it's all about you how you network okay. with people how you show your artwork how you show you in your world and that's just point blank period all right all right um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Tiny, you got the last, you got the last, last mic, and then we can wrap this up, gangster. I, I know. You know I like making it long, but it's gonna be short. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And you see, Stop. like you see these people, <laughs> <laughs> you you are really loved. Look. Yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. All right, all right, y'all. It's been Talk TV the Slums of the Metal. We have Didi, and I want to thank everybody for sliding through. Man, we'll see y'all next week, man. Hey, hey. Shout out, shout out, shout out.